Good morning, I'm Graham, and the subject for today's Advent Thought for the Day is the gift of peace. I have a reading from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Seems strange, I suppose, talking about peace this year at a time when we're all so conscious of the terrible war in the Ukraine. And I suppose when the world thinks about the idea of peace, it thinks of a cessation of hostility, something that we all long for in that part of the world as day after day we see the terrible suffering that's taking place in people's lives. And many of us have been close to that as we've got to know some of those refugees that have come here to the UK. And I suppose the world's view of peace is the absence of something, is the absence of hostility. But when Jesus talks about peace, he's talking about something completely different. In John chapter 14, Jesus says, I do not give to you as the world gives. In other words, the peace that he has and that he promises is something different. The peace that Jesus offers us is not the absence of something. It's something positive and real that can be embedded inside us. The world's idea of peace is the absence of something outside of us. It's the absence of hostility and war. But when Jesus talks about peace, it's something supernatural. It's something that can be embedded in our hearts. It's something undescribable. It's something that we feel. It's something that we think. It's a state of being and it's completely wonderful. It describes something that's supernatural, illogical and empowering and that is rooted inside us. It's not the description of the conditions and circumstances around us. And this is the peace that God offers us this time of the year. So whatever your circumstances are today, whatever the conditions are that surround you, and these are difficult times when the news day after day tells us of gloomy times ahead, even with all those th things happening around us, we can have peace. So I want you to imagine, if you will, as I close this little thought, that on Christmas morning, when you're confronted by those presents, you notice that there's one you weren't expecting, a present that's been wrapped up by Jesus himself. And you undo the paper, excited to find out what's in inside, and discover that there's an exquisite treasure box hiding inside that paper. And of course, the first thing you want to do is open the box and see what's inside. Imagine then that as you open the box of this, this beautiful treasure box, what you find inside is the peace that Jesus promises to give us. If that was the case, I want you to imagine, what would that peace look like inside the box? What would that peace feel like? Would you be able to touch it tangibly and apply it into your own heart? And if you did, how would that change the way you feel? As I close, I'm drawn to that wonderful prayer in the book of Numbers in the Old Testament, the, the priest's prayer. And I finish with this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace.